Our goal today is to have fun, learn about nature, and not get explosive diarrhea. Yes, we do have to go on a hike. I made you take a deep bath this morning for a reason. So everybody tuck your pants into your socks. Let's go. Ah, sorry, kiddo. We can't swim in the river. It's already full. Of what? Flagellated protozoan. What diseases can ticks cause? Yeah, we got about three hours left on this hike. I guess we have some time. There's anaplasmosis, babesiosis, Lyme disease, bourbon virus. Oh, go right ahead. Drink the river water. Cryptosporidium are always looking for a new home. Colorado tick fever, ehrlichiosis, Heartland virus. Actually, the trophozoites are also passed in stool, but they don't survive in the environment. It's the cysts that actually cause damage to the intestinal epithelium. Why are you crying? Powassan disease, rickettsiosis, Rocky Mountain spotted fever. All right, kids, remember, what can kill you? Everything! And where does it live? Everywhere! That's right. Southern tick-associated rash illness, tick-borne relapsing fever, hard tick relapsing fever. Oh, look, a bunny. Tularemia. What is it, sweetie? Bobby found a tick. Don't touch it, Bobby. You'll squeeze the spirochetes through the mouth parts and into the skin. Okay, the tick is not engorged. It hasn't taken a blood meal yet. I'm gonna insert the tweezers between the skin and the mouth and pull up gently to remove the tick. Yeah, of course I have tweezers. I'm on a hike. Then once you have the tick, you need to save it so you can identify it later. Molly, go get me my hiking microscope. All right, great hike, everyone. Time for a tick check. Everyone take off their clothes. You too. Uh, sir, I, I don't know you. I'm infectious disease and I'm gonna check you for ticks. 